hi guys welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about tiger conservation in india what are the initiatives adopted by the government for the tiger con conservation in india and in this session we will first discuss uh, a brief about the project tiger uh, which is a tiger conservation initiative then we discuss uh, the tiger reserves what are those and uh, there is one authority called national tiger conservation authority NTCA we'll discuss a brief about NTCA also and finally uh, we'll conduct a tiger uh, census so we'll uh, discuss what are the methods uh, used in tiger uh, census so this is how I plan this session let's now start so guys project tiger is uh, a centrally sponsored scheme launched in Jim Corbett National Park uh, which is in Uttarakhand in 1973 and the objectives of uh, uh, initiating this project tiger was to ensure maintenance of available population of tigers in India for scientific, economic, uh, aesthetic, uh, cultural and ecological value and also to preserve for all times the areas of such uh, biological importance as a national heritage for the benefit, education and enjoyment of people and also the aim of the project tiger was the conservation of endangered species as well as harmonizing the rights of tribal people living in and around the tiger reserves and under project tiger the tiger reserves are constituted on a court buffer strategy and the state governments are shall on the recommendation of Nat national tiger conservation authority notify an an area as a tiger reserve so uh, that is about the project tiger now we'll discuss uh, what are uh, tiger reserves or uh, what includes in the tiger reserves the tiger reserves is divided into firstly the core zone uh, the core area is kept free of biotic disturbances and uh, forestry operations activities like collection of minor forest produce human disturbances grazing etc are not allowed and these areas are required to be kept inviolate for the purpose of tiger conservation without affecting the rights of scheduled tribes or such other forest dwellers and these areas are notified by state governments in consultation with an expert committee then we have buffer zone uh, buffer zone is uh, an area peripheral to the core area it provides a uh, supplementary habitat uh, for dispersing tigers as well as offering a scope for existence of human activity the limits of such areas are determined by consultation with the concerned gram sabha and an expert committee constituted for the that purpose and modification uh, in the boundaries of a tiger reserve can be done only on a recommendation of national tiger conservation authority and it should be approved by national board of wildlife uh, so this is an important point uh, so that is about the tiger reserves now we'll discuss few points about national tiger conservation authority national tiger conservation authority is a statutory body under ministry of environment forest and climate change uh, it was established in 2005 following the recommendation of the tiger task force and uh, ntca was constituted under enabling provisions of wildlife protection act 1972 so this is an uh, important fact and is amended in 2006 for strengthening tiger conservation as per the powers and functions assigned to it and uh, so that is about the NTCA and uh, there are 13 tiger range countries that are part of global tiger recovery program which include uh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, India, uh, China, uh, Cambodia, Lao PDR, uh, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia Thailand, Vietnam and Russian Federation. So I just mentioned uh, the Global Tiger Recovery Program. Uh, it's a very important program. Please uh, study about this. And now uh, guys will see uh, the Tiger Census, uh, the methods used in the Tiger Census. So the four year Tiger Census is led by National Tiger Conservation Authority and the Wildlife Institute of India. And uh, in collaboration with the state uh, forest departments, they conduct uh, tiger census and some of the technologies are uh, used in uh, the tiger census or estimating the numbers of tigers is mentioned here the first one is m stripes that is a software based tiger monitoring system launched by ntca then we have the cataract that is camera trap data repository and analysis tool uh, then we have uh, extra 
compare then we have the SCCR method that is spatially explicit capture recapture method and uh, then we have the cytochrome B maker and uh, finally we have the maximum entropy models or max ent uh, so these methods are important uh, please uh, uh, have an idea about or a one-liner idea about uh, these methods because M stripe has been asked in the previous year likewise anything related with tiger conservation is very important for the your PC preparation so please do not skip these methods and um, uh, likewise they can ask a question that max and sometimes seen in the news is related with what so likewise uh, please study about this and uh, that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another topic thank you for watching this lesson